All right, this is the last day of clinics. Our team is going up to Los Cabos. They're going to be touching the hurting and the helpless up in that area, that mountain region. And the rest of us, our, our pastors, are going to the pastor's conference. We're really excited about what God's going to do in the hearts and lives of not only our nationals in the villages and in the abajos of the North Shore of the Dominican Republic today, but in the hearts and lives of every pastor. Our pastors are going to be pouring into their lives, equipping them and empowering them to do the work that God has called them to. So thank you once again. Pray for us and believe with us that lives will be changed, that people will be empowered, and that our pastors will be anointed to continue to do the work that God has called them to do here in the Dominican Republic. Thank you so much for praying for us, and thank you for sending us to the people of the Dominican Republic. Father God, we just thank you for Victoria, Lord. For the plans that you had for her when she was born. For the life that she's lived for you. And for every day she has now and how she influences people. I thank you for this family that you have brought to care for her. Lord, we just ask your blessings over the family, the daughters, and Victoria. That you would supply every need. Every need. Because you are our source. You are our healer and our strength. I pray for joy that would come over Victoria, that would give her strength. And when she rests at night, your peace would be on her. I thank you, Lord, that we trust in you. We ask strength, health, provision, above all peace, as we trust in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, here we are at the end of the day, and it's been an incredible time at Los Quiabos. It has been an opportunity to touch this community with the compassion of Christ. Did you know that medical clinics don't even come up in here because first of all, they don't want to travel that far from the city. But that's why Hope International comes. We'll kind of go where nobody else will go and touch people's lives that need to be touched with the compassion in Christ. You know, Pastor Debbie, I mean, what's been your impressions of this opportunity in this day? Well, this has been a very special day. We got to walk 10 miles, it felt like, probably maybe three, but <laughs> up the mountain, down the mountain, around the corner, up to visit a 115-year-old woman 
that the neighbor takes care of her because there's no family left. It's incredible. And it was, she was so excited. The last two years, she has walked down here. Now, we were told she was 103. But 103, 115, it's a long, hot walk. Yes. She's old. She's old. <laughs> you know, she's she's old. old. So this year, she felt so bad she couldn't make it on her own. And so we went to her. What, what's so awesome is that she heard that Hope International was here. Yep. And she had to come. Right. They've been able to go up there and Pastor Debbie took a nurse up there and you probably see a little bit of that video, but what an opportunity to build relationships year after year to come yes. back and touch people. Now, as you can tell, we're loading up. We've got an hour drive back to the resort. Once we get back to the resort, the teams are going to still continue to work and unload and take inventory and see where we are. And then we have an opportunity to bless even more pastors and bless more people by gifting them with more things from Hope International. <laughs> I, I just am so thankful today. There's been people that have accepted the Lord. That means they've gone from death to life. There have been people that have been healed from their hearing. They have been a, a person today could barely see and they prayed for him and it was a little bit better. They prayed for him. It was a little bit better. They prayed for him and they said, I can see. That's Thank it. God for this opportunity. So I'm so thankful that you've been praying for us, that you're reaching out. We still have work to do. Our pastors are in a pastor conference today. And tomorrow on Sunday, we're going to break out and go to 10 churches and just take over the North Shore with the power and the anointing of God. Thank you for praying for us. Yes. We are so blessed that you have partnered with Hope International Ministry of bringing hope, help, and healing to a hurting humanity right here on the North Shore of the Dominican Republic. Dios le bendiga. God bless you.